please click on the subscribe button for more videos and the bell icon for the notification hello YouTube this is Pete Freak and today I'm going to show you the tire pressure monitoring system it's called TPMS as well I had ordered this from Aliexpress long time back before lockdown and I received it a uh, few days back and I have installed it it's with the external sensor you get it on Amazon as well in India but it's a bit expensive so I had ordered it from Aliexpress so um, let's go ahead and see how it works so here it is uh, here's the uh, display so the numbers in white uh, you see is the tire pressure on all the four wheels and the numbers in yellow are the uh, temperature of the tires all right I mean the air and here we have three buttons on the top um, the middle one is the mode or the menu button by which you can change the settings uh, from PSI to bar from uh, you know uh, centigrade to Fahrenheit likewise all right and uh, these are the arrow keys and setup keys here at the back you have uh, the solar panel all right so uh, if you usually drive during the day you won't need to charge it uh, this is going to uh, you know help uh, charge this device all right so it's wireless you don't need to connect anything but in case uh, the battery is down you can still use a micro USB which is at this side and charge it all right so it gets turned off uh, if you stop the vehicle within a minute or so if there is no movement uh, the monitor turns off automatically so you don't have to turn it off and uh, as soon as it feels any vibration it turns it on automatically so let's look at the sensors now so there is nothing much to do actually so just install the sensors you know install the monitor inside and look at it so let's look at the sensor these are external sensors let me show you so as you can see there is a mark as well um, you know it says right front so likewise you have marks on all the four wheels and there is a lock nut here so that uh, no one could remove it So you cannot easily remove it now I would recommend to uh, use it because you know uh, in some places it's uh, risky to put it on without the anti-theft nut so it's better you put it so as soon as I remove um, you know any of these or there is no pressure in the tire or the pressure decreases uh, to the minimum value or less than that uh, the monitoring system starts beeping and you know that the pressure is low all right so let's look at that so as you can see uh, if you press this menu button for three seconds it gets into a mode so here are the units so if you press the middle button once the PSI starts blinking so you can change it to bar or PSI and you press the middle button again go to the next menu then you can change then you can click on the mode button and then change the centigrade to Fahrenheit so now if you press the menu button uh, again it saves the data alright you'll have to keep and press it for three seconds and return to the main menu alright then press and hold it for three seconds use the arrow keys to go to the next menu so here you can see it says pH that means it's pressure high you can set it if you press the mode button again it starts blinking so you can change the highest pressure you want in your tire so if it increases above that it starts beeping alright so I have kept it to 35 then if you click on it again so it says pressure low I have kept it to 20 so my air pressure will vary between 20 to 35 if it's anything 
below 20 or above 35 the monitoring system will start beeping all right so if you go to the next menu so this is uh, temperature of the tire so it's th temperature high actually so i have set it to 60 degrees so if uh, the tire pressure uh, you know increases or the tire temperature increases to 60 degrees uh, the system will start beeping so the fifth menu is for rotating the tires so if you rotate tires like you know uh, diagonally or uh, front wheel you put it to the back you you can use this to change that and uh, the sixth menu I'm not quite sure how this works but I think it's uh, for testing the sensors and the seventh is to reset the system so it resets uh, your monitoring system and to factory default all right so if you have any questions do let me know uh, I'll try to answer them uh, even this is new for me so I'm trying to learn it through other resources and if you want to purchase this I'll uh, paste down the link uh, in the description so you can check that out thank you and have a good day